Greetings, my friends. Happy Friday to all of you. So, friends, it is finally happening. Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer and Senate Democrat Joe Manchin are closing in on a deal on the Build Back Better bill. President Biden is being urged to take executive action and help millions of Americans with this extra financial aid. Friends, this is your daily news report and Ford Stimulus Check update. Please make sure you watch until the end of this video for all of the details. I will also be giving away a $75 Walmart gift card four days a week. If you would like to enter the giveaways, please click and like several of my videos and then comment below the keyword of each video that you watch. Remember friends, the more often you comment below a keyword on a video, the greater your chance of winning the Walmart gift card giveaway. You know, this is an incredible generation, the 9-11 generation that fought. They served in a way I think they're maybe they're right up there with the greatest generation because they not only got deployed once, but sometimes twice, three, four times in the harm's way. They come home and go back. And after knowing that they cleaned off the blood of the seat of that up armored Humvee that they were in where they lost somebody. And they'd have to saddle up and go back out again. An enormous generation, an incredible generation. I was telling the guys on the way down, I remember flying into Iraq one of those times. And I went into the, cop the cockpit. And there were, I believe, seven members, six members, five men and one woman, one woman. And I asked the question of all of them, I said, how many is this your first tour of duty? Nobody raised their hand. Second tour of duty, nobody. Third tour, two of them. Fourth tour, two of them. Fifth tour, one. No other generation has been deployed, redeployed, and redeployed, and redeployed. That takes nothing away from the World War I and World War II and Vietnam generations. But it's one thing to serve and come home and then go back and go back and go back. So we owe you, we owe you all, every veteran in here and every family member of veteran. May God bless you all and may God protect our troops. Thank you for all you do. So here is a big update on the Build Back Better legislation. Key Senate Democrats are working to revive U.S. President Joe Biden's legislative agenda with a current focus on energy, environment, climate, and tax reform. According to people familiar with the matter, plans to revive the Build Back Better legislation now revolve around talks between Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer and the key Democratic swing vote in the chamber, which is Senator Joe Manchin of West Virginia. Senator Manchin has finally signaled he could support some climate provisions in the trimmed down version of the bill. The lawmakers want to resolve the talks on the legislation before shifting focus to campaigning ahead of the November midterm elections for control of Congress. Manchin's spokesperson, Sam Runyon, has told reporters that the senator remains seriously concerned about the financial status of our country and believes fighting inflation by restoring fairness to our tax system and paying down our national debt must be our first priority. President Biden facing political pressure near his lowest approval rating of his presidency is very eager to get any kind of deal done ahead of the election. Climate elections is a major priority among many Democratic voters. The United States is the closest it has ever been to imposing a carbon border tax. The tax, as outlined by the lawmakers, would raise billions of dollars by levying a tariff on carbon intensive imports. But the White House has expressed concerns that it could also raise prices on a host of consumer goods. Rising consumer costs have also shifted the White House's focus towards deficit reduction. The Senate is currently split 50-50 between Democrats and Republicans, with President Biden's party controlling it only because Vice President Harris can cast a tie-breaking vote. That means any measure that can pass with a simple majority must have Joe Manchin support if Republicans remain united in opposition. Senator Manchin is considered the Senate's most conservative Democrat. So friends, do you think that our lawmakers will reach a deal next month 
Please let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Top White House aides have drafted the order for canceling some student loan debt, but they're still waiting for President Biden to make up his mind on whether to go forward with it. A pair of speeches scheduled for this weekend might seem like a perfect setting for an announcement, but White House aides expect that the president will only touch on the subject. The White House aides are still expecting that a final decision will take more time. Advocates are urging President Biden to announce his cancellation decision jointly with what is expected to be an end to the moratorium on student loan payments, which was started during the crisis under the former president's administration. And after two Biden extensions, it is finally set to expire on August 31st, 2022. The goal is to make the dual announcement by early summer so that borrowers can prepare. Some progressive leaders, sensing that they're not going to get all they want, are already gearing up to voice their disappointment. Even if President Biden goes with a final decision that would be higher than the $10,000 in forgiveness that he had originally promised to support during his 2020 campaign, some are still pushing for as much as $50,000 in debt relief, though few involved in discussions have ever believed that was possible. Friends, the key word for this video is Grand Rapids. If you would like to enter today's Walmart gift card giveaway, please make sure that you click and like several of my videos and then comment below this keyword, which is Grand Rapids and additional keywords of any video of mine that you watch. And do make sure that you're also subscribed to my channel. Part of Biden's meeting with Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer and Senators Elizabeth Warren and Raphael Warnock at the White House last week included them making a case again that President Biden needs to think more broadly about how many people would be affected by this loan forgiveness. Well, my fantastic friends, this is the end of my daily stimulus update video. Thank you so very much for joining me here today. I greatly appreciate all of you who are watching my videos daily. Remember friends, I will be giving away Walmart gift cards four days a week. Please enter the giveaways by clicking and liking several of my videos and then commenting below the keyword of each video that you watch. Thank you so much everyone and have a wonderful and blessed Friday.